Alleged comedian, gentleman, and a scholar, intellectual giant, and a pool of mental midgets, and a connoisseur of fine haberdasheries. I know if you folks say anything like me, you probably got places to go and people to do. I'm not gonna hold you long. Let me tell you a couple places where you can catch me. First of all, the first black animated Disney feature film ever comes out Christmas Day. It's called The Princess and the Frog with Anika Nani Rose. Uh, excuse me, we're taping, ma'am. Uh, well, I'm sorry, a lot of people don't, they don't, they don't be on camera, so they be all over loud and stuff. Anyway, uh, so in, anyway, uh, it's, it's the uh, first black animated Disney feature film. Uh, Oprah Winfrey is in it, uh, Jennifer Lewis, uh, uh, Anika Nani Rose, John Goodman, of course, Michael Kaya. Also, my first book comes out October 1st, my first poetry book called Miss Innocent Calls the Cool School and other silly stuff, which is also going to be an animated series that we're talking to Disney about. Oh, and nice. finally, uh, in November, my documentary comes out that we shot at the inauguration. It's called A Funny Thing Happened on the way to the White House, I knocked on the door and a brother answered. Anyway, enough about me. Y'all can reach me on Facebook or catch me on MySpace, Michael Cowley, C-O-L-Y-A-R.com. But that, we're not here talking about me. All that, we ain't even here talking about me. We're here to talk about Kiera and the Kiera Foundation. We're here to talk about this beautiful Ford uh, Fiesta that we're about to hook up. And let me introduce you to the man who can tell you more about that. Donna Don Paris Harris, thank you so much, for Michael. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right. right. We on behalf of we, we on behalf of Ford Fiesta, Ford Fiesta movement, and also Fashion Army, I'd like to present the Kiara Foundation a check for five hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Fiesta, thank you, Paris Harris. Thank you, Sandy. Woo. I love you guys so much. Such incredible work. What really inspires you every day? What makes you tick? Oh, just these young women that age out of foster care, with no family, no friends. You know, it's just like, um, I don't know, that I was appointed to do this. It's like my appointment from God to do this for these girls. And I want them to be able to flourish, you know, and to prosper and to be happy. Yes, sir. 